My name is Andreas Wig and you're watching Action Recon. I'm a recording artist. I'm from uh, Norway. I uh, grew up around Oslo and uh, my home mountain is called Vardodosen, which is uh, really hard to pronounce in English, but it's a really small resort. It's probably uh, 300 meters long and somehow I was able to snowboard at that mountain. <laughs> No, I think snowboarding definitely needs to evolve and, you know, the triple cork is just a part of that and that's one part of snowboarding, you know, the contests and I think the guys that have done triples till now, like, they, they can make pretty much anything look good, so it's, uh, as long as it evolves and, and the style's in there, I mean, then it's all good. Yeah, I think the Supernaturals, you know, rep representing snowboarding in a better way as a whole, just uh, because it shows uh, more variety and like you have to be able to ride the terrain and it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just that that's where the roots uh, in snowboarding came from and that's cool about that contest that it really shows that and you just have to be really skilled to be able to even make it down that course, so that's like the highest level of snowboarding in my eyes. Yeah, it's been a really good, uh, you know, I had a really good relationship with Forum and, and uh, we just have a really good setup with the whole crew and like we're all super good friends on the team and everyone knows, you know, everyone knows what they're doing uh, when we're filming. There's no questions, like everyone's so experienced and that really helps uh, me do my best since everyone else kind of supports me while I'm supporting the other guys. And, yeah, it just works out in a really good way. Filming a video part is a long process. I mean, we pretty much spend the whole season um, making a video part. But uh, when you think about it, when I look back at the season, I pretty much like most of my parts from March, just because the weather was good in March. In February, it was shitty snow, and uh, January, the sun never came out. So it's just like a lot of waiting around, a lot of hit and miss, like you try stuff, and jumps are, you know, the jump could be too small or the clouds roll in or it's just so many small things that happen all the time that there's a lot of things that need to fall into place for you to get that one shot that's going to make the movie and the sad thing is that when you watch the movie that just goes by in like two seconds so it's a lot of work for one shot. Uh, I don't think you necessarily have to do, you know, web stuff all the time to stay relevant. I think still think there's a you know a good following uh, for the snowboard movies and if people like if a person has a really good part one year that you know that sticks to your brain for a long time and compared to just having a, a lot of random web stuff I think just having one major video part at least one a year really helps you out just to put you on the map and that's gonna be remembered, you know. I don't know if you remember all those small episodes. So So uh, my interests besides snowboarding uh, are, you know, surfing, which I love. It's a, such an awesome sport, and uh, also spend a lot of a lot of time mountain biking. Uh, just uh, it's good for my body and my knees, and it's not a lot of impact. It's like snowboarding, so much impact that in the summer I'm just trying to do sports with low impact. And uh, yeah. That's it, because besides barbecuing, I built like this <laughs> enormous barbecue, like uh, all custom made back home, and yeah, pretty much uh, make every meal there in the summer. Yeah, I think just in snowboarding, is, you know, it has evolved so much, and now you have to stay in shape to be able to do it year after year, and I think a lot of riders now, like, they take it more seriously, and you know, I'm on the national team for Norway, so when I'm back home, days like we wake up, there's a training session at 10 till noon pretty much, and then lunch from noon till 1, and then one more. So it could be like trampoline in the morning, and then maybe, uh, you know, training core strength in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's, uh, 
It's starting to change. Yeah, this year I was riding the Holy Moly board, and uh, yeah, it's working out really well. And so I ride Vans boots, which are really supportive, and that's what I need, need in the backcountry, just uh, for those landings. And I'm trying to ride uh, you know, stiff bindings, so I, uh, I ride the Republics. With a change of clothes and a couple cans of beer. Yeah. Wait, I sounded like Yellow Wolf there. I wonder if he'd care. He seems like a pretty good guy.